More than 7,000 Haitian migrants who entered the U.S. in recent weeks have now been expelled. But that is not stopping many who are risking their lives to travel thousands of miles from South America to the U.S. CBS's Manuel Bohorkas met some of them on the Colombia-Panama border, where hope and hell collide. The scores of migrants who have set up camp along the Caribbean town of Necocli are among the estimated 16,000 waiting in Colombia to head north. Lionel Nelson fled disaster-stricken Haiti years ago to settle in South America, where jobs, he says, have dried up. He cannot take his wife and infant daughter back to Haiti, he says. We have nothing, nothing in Haiti, no work. Their goal is to reach the U.S. Deportación, deportation. Es un temor grande. It's a big fear for you. As they finally get seats on the ferry, we followed along to the other side of this bay, the next step in the trek north. For all the people on that boat, this is the only way to the other side, a two-hour journey across the bay to Akandi. So the boats just arrived on the other side, and these are all part of the smuggling operation, taking them from this boat to dry land. Nelson and his family turned themselves over to a band of smugglers after negotiating passage along the only land route into Central America. They are taken on dirt bikes, an hour ride through the countryside. Como está la niña? How's the child? Your girl, how is she? Okay. She looks a little scared a little bit. Miedo un poquito. Si. To a smuggler's camp on the edge of the jungle. This is it from here on out. It's all by foot and it's all through the jungle. To reach Panama, migrants risk robbery, rape and death crossing the Darien Gap, a lawless 60 mile stretch of jungle considered one of the most dangerous in the world. At the camp, this smuggler told us roughly 600 people a day pass through, some dehydrated, hungry and sick. They'd rather die trying to get to the United States than be deported to Haiti. Prefieren morir llegando a los Estados Unidos que regresar a Haiti. Sí. Nelson and his family leave first thing in the morning. Motivación. Motivación, you're motivated. Corazón. Corazón. Sí. It's all heart. Sí. We're still waiting to hear whether they made it out of the jungle. Manuel Bojorquez, CBS News, Necocli, Colombia.